Two and a half thousand years ago, robots guarded Buddha's relics. This is what legends of ancient India tell us. We shouldn't be surprised we had robots in ancient Greece too. Now, as early as Homer of ancient Greece, more than 2,500 years ago, Greek mythology explored the idea of autonom auto automatons, the self-moving devices, and by the 3rd century BC, engineers in Hellenistic Alexandria, Egypt, that's around the time of Alexander the Great, were building real mechanical robots and machines, and such science fictions and uh, historical technologies were not unique to Greek Greco-Roman culture. As early as Homer, more than two and a half thousand years ago, they had automaton, automatons, self-moving devices. In my recent book, the author says, Gods and Robots, I explained that many ancient societies imagined and constructed automatons. Chinese chronicles tell us of emperors fooled by realistic androids and describe artificial servants crafted in the second century by the female inventor Huan Weiying. Techno marvels such as flying war chariots and animated beings also appear in Hindu epics. One of the most intriguing stories from India tells us how robots once guarded Buddha's relics. As fanciful as it might sound to modern ears, this tale has a strong basis with links between ancient Greece and ancient India. Let's remember the uh, King Solomon, King David's son, King Solomon of ancient Israel, who built the first temple. Well, his throne had many steps going up to his throne, and he had lions on the sides of each step. And as the king, King Solomon, went up each step, the lion's head would turn towards him, gazing at him as he went up the steps. It was a type of a pressure plate on each step that caused the face of the lions to turn towards him. So that was some kind of a robotic technology too, wasn't it? His throne had the lions that were turning his face, their faces towards King Solomon. Now, going back to this, Chinese chronicles telling us of emperors ruled by realistic androids and describe artificial servants crafted in the second century by female inventor Huan Weiying. The techno marbles such as flying war chariots and animated beings also appear in the Hindu epics. One of the most intriguing stories from India about the robots guarding Buddha's relics. As fanciful as it might sound to modern ears, the tale has a strong basis in links between ancient Greece and ancient India. The story is set in the time of kings Ajatasatru and Asoka. Ajatasatru, who reigned from 492 to 460 BC, was recognized for commissioning new military inventions, such as powerful catapults and mechanized war chariots with whirling blades. When Buddha died, Ajatasatru was entrusted with defending his precious remains, and the king hid them in an underground chamber near his capital. Traditionally, statues of giant warriors stood on guard near treasures, but in the legend, Ajatasatru's guards were extraordinary. They were robots. In India, automatons, or mechanical beings, that could move on their own were called Buddha Vahana Yanta, or spirit movement machines in Pali and Sanskrit. According to the story, it was foretold that Ajatasatru's robots would remain on duty until a future king would distribute Buddha's relics throughout the realm. Ancient robots and automatons? Hindu and Buddhist texts describe the automaton warriors whirling like the wind, slashing intruders with swords, recalling Ajatasatru's war chariots with spinning blades. In some versions, the robots are driven by a water wheel or made by Visvakarman, the Hindu engineer god. But the most striking version came by a tangled route to the Loko Panamati of Burda of Burma, Pali trans translations of older lost Sanskrit texts only known from Chinese translations, each drawing on earlier oral traditions. In this tale, many Yantakara robot makers 
lived in the western land of Yavanas, Greek speakers that is, Yavan, Javan is still the Yavan is still the uh, word that the Turks used to uh, describe Greece. They called it Yavan. Now the Greek speakers in uh, Roma Visaya, the Indian name for the Greco-Roman culture of the Mediterranean world, the Yavanas secret technology of robots, that is the Greeks technology of robots, was closely guarded. The robots of Roma Visaya carried out trade and farming. And carried uh, and captured the executed criminals. Could you imagine? They even, the robots even carried out trade and farming. Robot makers were forbidden to leave or reveal their secrets. And if they did, robotic assassins pers pursued to do away with them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, rumors of the fabulous robots reached India inspired a young artisan of Pataliputa, Ajatasutra's capital, who wished to learn how to make automatons. In the legend, the young man of Pataliputa finds himself reincarnated in the heart of Roma Visaya. He marries the daughter of the master robot maker and learns his craft. And one day he steals plans for making robots and hatches a plot to get them back to India. Certain of being slain by the killer robots before he could make the trip himself, he slits open his thigh, inserts the drawing under his skin and sews himself back up. Then he tells his son to make sure his body makes it back to Pataliputa and starts the journey. He's caught and killed, but his son recovers his body and brings it to Pataliputa. Once back in India, the son retrieves the plants from the father's body and follows their instructions to build the automated soldiers, the robots that is, for King Ajatasatru to protect Buddha's relics in the underground chamber. Well hidden and expertly guarded, the relics and robots fell into obscurity. Two centuries after Ajatasatru, Asoka ruled the powerful Mauryan Empire in Pataliputa from 273 to 232 BC. Asoka constructed many stupas to enshrine, enshrine Buddha's relics across the vast kingdom. And according to legend, Asoka had heard the legend of the hidden relics, and searched until he discovered the underground chamber, guarded by the fierce android warriors. Violent battles raged between Ahsoka and the robots. In one version, the god Visvakarama Karman helped Ahsoka to defeat them by shooting arrows into the, bol into the bolts that held the spinning constructions together. And in another tale, the old engineer's son explained how to disable and control the robots, at any rate, Ahsoka ended up commanding the army of automatons himself. The exchange between East and West? Is this legend simply fantasy? Or could the tale have coalesced around early cultural exchanges between the East and the West? The story clearly connects the mechanical beings defending Buddha's relics to automaton, automatons of Roma Visaya, the Greek-influenced West. How ancient is the tale? Most scholars assume it arose in medieval Islamic and European times, but I think the story could be much older. The historical setting points to technological exchanges between Marian and Hellenistic cultures. Contact between India and Greece began in the 5th century BC, a time when Ajatasutra's, uh, Ajatasatru's engineers created novel war machines. Greco-Buddhist culture exchange intensified after Alexander the Great campaign in northern India. In 300 BC, that's the time of Alexander the Great, two Greek ambassadors, Megasthenes and Deimachus, resided in Pataliputa of India, which boasted both the Greek influence of art and architecture and was the home of the legendary artisan who obtained plans for robots in Roma Visaya. Grand pillars erected by Akosa are inscribed in ancient Greek and name Hellenistic kings, demonstrating Ahsoka's relationship with the West. Historians know that Ahsoka corresponded with Hellenic rulers, including Ptolemy II Philadelphus in Alexandria, Egypt, whose spectacular procession in 279 BC famously displayed complex animated statues and automated devices. So the procession even had robotic uh, displays. Historians report that Akosa 
sent envoys to Alexandria, Egypt, and Ptolemy II sent ambassadors to Akosa in Pataliputa of India. It was customary for diplomats to present splendid gifts to show off cultural achievements. Did they bring plans or miniature models of automatons and other mechanical devices? I cannot hope to pinpoint the original tale of the legend, but it is plausible that the idea of robots guarding Buddha's relics melds both real and imagined engineering feats from the time of Ajatasatru and Ahsoka. The striking legend is proof that the concepts of building robots, automatons, were widespread in antiquity and reveals a universal and timeless link between imagination and science. This is written by Adrian Mayer, research scholar, classic and history and philosophy of science at Stanford University, author of Gods and Robots, Myths, Machines and Ancient Dreams of Technology, from published from The Conversation under Creative Commons license. And this is on Coletto Spark. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.